Welcome to Prophecy Recap. This message is titled, The Great Shaking Changes the Access of the Earth. It was given by McKenna through the 444 Prophecy News website on February 24th of 2024, and the scripture given was Isaiah 24, 19 through 21. I'm specifically going to read Isaiah 24, 20 as it relates to the message. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And then the messenger writes that the severity of the shaking of the earth will be manifested in the following different ways. The earth shaking will cause it to move out of its orbit temporarily, leading to significant repercussions. Upon returning to orbit, the Earth's axis will tilt, altering its geographical features. The shaking will result in the splitting of continents and disappearance of islands, and oceans and seas will overflow onto land masses. Numerous volcanoes, known and unknown, will erupt simultaneously. Fires will spread across the globe from various sources, including volcanic eruptions, underground methane, forest fires, and city fires. High-rise buildings and structures will be reduced to ruins due to the intensity of the shaking. Dramatic climate changes will occur with cold regions becoming hot and vice versa. Societal upheaval will lead to wars, including nuclear conflicts, taking advantage of the chaotic situation. The global economy will collapse, leading to civil unrest, famine, and pandemics. The Earth's movements, described vividly as violent and jittery, will trigger cataclysmic events, such as volcanic eruptions and shifts in the Earth's axis. The scale of death and suffering will be unprecedented, akin to biblical tribulations. These calamities are prophesied in the Bible in Isaiah 24. Overall, the impending shaking of the earth is depicted as the greatest calamity to befall humanity, reshaping life on the planet permanently. The only solution is repentance and turning away from sin towards eternal salvation. And this message is followed up by five confirmation messages. So please see the link in the description box below to see the entire word. I encourage you to read this prophetic word for yourself and take it to the Lord in prayer. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're led to do so. Time is short and we all need his power and his wisdom in the days ahead. So if you haven't come to the Lord, please do so today in prayer and repentance. There's a link in the description box below with information about receiving God's salvation. Until the nets are full, God's blessings on you as you seek to know his heart, to hear his voice, and to follow in his ways. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.